Hi everybody, welcome to part two of today's episode of Play to Find Out Magic Dance. Uh, we are entering into our downtime stuff. So, first off is payoff. Uh, you got three cred for turning uh, R&E back over to the Conclave. And uh, because you took the, actually because you took the Conclave offer, offer and have like basically done a job for them, uh, your status with them is going to go up as well. Uh, so it's going to go up to a one. Basically, you're now you're friendly with them, essentially. Um, I'll put that up as well, because you can mark the jobs you've done for them. Uh, so you've done one job for the Conclave, and uh, yeah, you went from zero to one. So now, basically, you're friendly with them. So not to a hundred. Hmm? I was just making a joke. Oh, sorry. A joke. <laughs> zero to a hundred real quick. Oh, right. No, yeah, it was. Yeah, it uh, Major, you're not allowed to make jokes. It's in the contract. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I did sign the contract without reading it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like Man, you should, you know better than that. Come on, silly goose. What? Uh, cool. So then we're gonna do heat. Um, so two heat is contained standard exposure. Uh, is what I'm thinking because it was pretty standard. Like there was a little bit. Like there was. It wasn't enough to be like. Quiet. There was a little bit of a kerfuffle a couple of times. Yeah, there was a kerfuffle. You blew up uh, a motorcycle. Uh -huh. um, I don't feel sorry about that. Uh, by the way. <laughs> I know you don't, but it's okay. Revenge. Um, and then there was the Devil's Bargain. Not Devil's Bargain. Uh, one of the consequences was plus one heat. Uh, so y'all yep. have three heat in the Rin system. Okay. But <clears throat> my question is, does the thing take the thing off it for having the license? Or that's just we don't get heat for using guns. Oh, uh, let me check. Yeah, what exactly does license do? Because I don't remember off the top of my head. I thought it just meant like if we are caught with guns, we're not going to be. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It's it's take minus two heat on any, any legitimate bounty hunting job. Um, Sweet. Yeah. No, that's, that's so. Wait, great. if we got no heat, is this like Blaze where we don't get any rep? But we still got one heat. No, so there's no there's not really rep in this one. Okay, cool. But but we still take one heat, not yeah, zero. Yeah, you still take one heat. Um But yeah, you still, yeah, so it's just one heat, which is fine. Um and actually you go by your wanted level in the system. Um because basically in this one the diff with the different systems, uh your heat and your wanted level will change depending on what system you're in. So mm -hmm. like the people the, the the cops and such in Rin might really want you, but you can go over to Iota and be like like okay, we're just going to hang out here for a while. And let the, let let the Rin thing die down for a bit. The heat dies down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like, uh, getting so rid of heat. Uh, basically, out. and basically, so when you're in other systems, you clear heat for those systems. So like, you can be in Iota and clear heat for Rin by just being like, "Hey, we're just gonna hang out here for. We're just gonna lay low." Or like, you're gonna tell some info brokers or fixers or whatever, like, "Hey, just you, you spread the word. Like, just kind of calm things down over there. Like, but, yeah, but you clear heat." For other systems in those other systems, basically. Gotcha. Um, and... So yeah, basically so uh, you have one heat in Rin, which is okay, because you don't have a wanted level, so it's not like people are after you. Uh, and then I will hunters. roll your entanglements. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so we're going to roll on this table. So let's see what happens there. I did a GM roll because, you know, that's fun. Mm hmm. How do you kill us today, Tux? Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Let me figure that out. Okay. Perfect. Cool. Okay. Um, yep, so your entanglement has been figured out. And then now it's time for downtime. Sweet. So, uh, as in Blades, everyone has downtime actions that they can take, everyone has two. Um, if you open up the PDF, uh, the action, there's basically the same actions. Uh, you can indulge your vice, you can recover, uh, you can start a long-term project, you can acquire asset, you can, um, you, there's a new one for like uh, fixing your ship because your ship can take damage. Um, and so you can do, mm -hmm. uh, there's a repair action. So you can basically, basically you can spend money to repair the ship. Uh, if, it, if, if, like, you're in a space battle or whatever and it took some damage. Mm -hmm. uh, you can lay low, which is reducing heat for another system. Um, 
or you can train. So, uh, you guys, yeah, you guys have this suite at the Stray Light for a couple days, uh, and a little bit of downtime for you guys to do. Uh, does anyone have any ideas for what they'd like to do? Um, I don't know. I'm at this point where I don't think I want to clear stress. Mm -hmm. I, I have three stress and still zero trauma. And be because this is Blades, I want to get a trauma. Sure. Um, so, um, I mean, I could play it without one, but that's, I, how do I farm XP if I don't? <laughs> exactly. So, I mean, I can always just struggle with my vice without taking a trauma, like if I overindulge or whatever. Mm -hmm. Not hurt. Um... I think I may just train twice. Okay. Um, do we have a training thing on our ship? Uh, I don't believe so. Yeah. We could train at the hotel. They probably have a workout gym or something. No, no, but we, we don't have like a training bonus. No, no, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm oh, talking no. about. Oh, no. Nope, no, no. Okay. So... If we don't have a training bonus, uh, I'm going to take one in my playbook... And hold on, I want to. What am I prowess? So, um, I, I think. Yeah, what does this, it look like? Yeah, I was gonna say I, I think this looks like, um, and, and actually I wanted to do this scene since we walked into this suite. Um, the playbook advancement, um, is, uh, going to be, Ophi like looking through um bounty the bounty board while like relaxing in a bathtub so you does got the whole bathtub just turn into jello yeah like of of like this uh bathtub filled with a teal liquid that almost looks like water except like eyeballs form in it and then you've got the like a hollow screen projected like just yeah. a little bit above it uh <laughs> that is like scrolling through bounty boards and like occasionally a pseudopod comes up and like presses something in the hollow board because that's this is the future and that's how screens work mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um <laughs> And uh, like like looking through the different things, um, so that that's how they're becoming more of a scoundrel. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and then it will cut to um, it'll cut to later, where um, uh, Ophi's got um, like a obstacle course set up. Through like like or have rearranged the furniture of the of the hotel room, um, to to make like an obstacle course, and like is just like like oozing up and over and through chairs and around tables, um, without touching the ground. Um, nice, <laughs> cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you like the the living room of this big suite. Like you're basically playing the floor is lava. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh... Cool. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Huh. I think I'll go next. Sure, sure. Um, I. What's what's Cho doing? Did he like take off? Well, yeah. Actually, around? I was gonna like check with that. Uh, so yeah. Oh, like, that's a good question. Basically, Zazu left, and you guys were kind of in this room. So like, we're back there. Cho was like kind of just like leaning against the wall, and when like it's like a quiet moment, he like leans up and looks at you guys and like. So. Uh, yeah. So. And, and um. I think Ophi like like turns, but like like is the eyeballs move first to refocus on uh onto Cho, and then like the body twists around so that the the front is is facing towards him also um <laughs> because it, it's just like like the the tie moves and the uh the 
pseudopods move around so that the the vest will follow. <laughs> and so Ophi is like, we charge reasonable fees if you need a ride to another system. I can get a ride, but uh, and it kind of looks at all of you. Um, and I guess uh, you see me look at him. It's like this one make a proposition: five rooms, five of us. We each take a room. We side each other ways. This sounds feasible. Sounds good to me. Um. Hey, Ophi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh. Always looking for talent. He's hot. Not like he like tilts his head. Like you got a bow you got a bounty on you, so we gotta be careful with that kind of shit. But you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean. You, I'm not, not not like what you, meant. you see me. Well, that is in fact what he meant. It's just he's normally such a flirt, it came out like he was like, Oh, I I'm knew the shepherd guy. lean is like, oh my <laughs> uh-huh. uh-huh. Um he like coughs and then uh let's see what's a good like um you gonna be good at disappearing well i was gonna say i got like uh he, i'm not sure a good place but um like i'll figure i'll, I'll forget the place later but like uh i mean i know people that can i'm i was probably gonna do it anyways but i'm gonna probably just change my get my face changed So, alright, that's sub, sub to you. You're welcome to stay here with us for a few days. You need some time. Could be good to lay low for a bit then. Uh, and he looks at Bishop and like, so was that an offer or? Uh, which part? The part where you're saying you're looking for talent. Potentially, uh, she makes all. They make most of the hiring and firing decisions. We're all co-owners. Right, she's the one that does all the paperwork. Would this be something you're interested in? Potentially. Get this fixed first. <laughs> Let me discuss with our friends. Sure. Not gonna lie, we do a lot of business with the Ashen Knives. Is that a problem? Nah. Are you saying that to be tough and cool, or are you saying that because you mean it? Look, I got friends there, but the organization as a whole wanted to kill me because I didn't do a job, so... That's reasonable. Technically, they do still want to kill you. I, yes, they wants to kill me because I didn't do a job. Well, they actually didn't want to kill you. I think they wanted us to bring you in and then they were going to torture you. Well, Which might be better, might be worse. I don't think you're helping here, Bishop. I'm not. I'm right. Stay, stay whatever, the the, whatever they're going to do to me. Look, I got... I think we got people that could help you out. Potentially, if you were willing to allow us to make an introduction and compensate slightly. I got people. Or, the, uh, let me take care of some you, stuff. I'll get in touch with you guys. Please do. All I'll right. make sure that, that he's got our comm code or... Sure, sure. Like a safe, Space like our, like our, one of our burn phones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, all right, I'm gonna go get a drink. And it walks over to the big elevator and taps it, and is gonna head down to like the the hotel bar. Uh, I is there? Is, shouldn't there be like a bar in our room? We have like a. Oh, room there's like a mini bar and stuff. Yeah. Oh, fucking Flora's going over there. T- cool totes. Does the mini bar? Flora, that that's like her. That's like her room. Like uh-huh. she's just. Well, there. no, actually, it's a um. Basically, it's like a you walk over to it, and it's this big machine, 
Uh, it's not like a it's not like a little fridge, but like it's this uh-huh. big machine that like has like a touch screen. It's basically a Coke freestyle, but for cocktails. Why is there a sock on your hand? That would be amazing. A toss bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay. God, that would, that would I was just playing it, and I had my hand in it when he said that, and so then I, I had to. It's okay. I get it. Myself. I get it. That so, would be a new market right there. God, that would be amazing. Just like I won't. Yep. The electronic oh, bartenders are a thing. They're just really expensive. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, Bishop. I think. Okay, so I think Bishop is so that answers the question where I was like maybe I could try and recruit Cho. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if I helped or failed. No, yeah, um, I think he's going to basically st- piercing the veil a little bit. If you want to make him a cohort, you can. I would like to make him a cohort. Yeah, yeah. So like basically, idea. if you guys like, but he's going to go take care of some stuff. If you guys want to take the cohort advance at some point, he can be a. He, he'll be an easy cohort to get, and he'll be, like, a decent cohort for you guys. Like, oh, by the way, we could always just double tap. I'm not double dipping on this one. That seems like a bad <laughs> idea. It, it seems like a good way to piss off everyone involved. Because hmm. the, the minute they start torturing him, the first thing he's going to say is, they turned the girl over to that other group, right? <laughs> yeah, that, that would be really a bad idea, and I... The thought okay. definitely crossed both my and Bishop's mind. That he, that we were both like... That was like that was scary. why he went, so... And then looked at the elevator and looked back at you guys, like, not sure what you guys were going to do. Because he wasn't going to say it. <laughs> no, yeah, definitely. I want to and... bring it up in conversation be like, you know, we could have double tapped, but we like you. <laughs> we like to employ you. So, so are, I don't know if we need to have the conversation in, in character, but are... It, are are both uh, Shusha and uh, Flora down with with Cho? You know what? We could use a cohort because we never did that in the last game. And new things are yeah. Good. yeah, yeah. He yeah. also has standards, which I can kind of appreciate, but he's also mm-hmm. a thug, which I can also appreciate. Mm-hmm. Plus, I think he will be fond of me because I take the bullets out of him. That's that's a thing. It's true. <laughs> and I and I fixed him up for free. On top of that. Mm-hmm. The answer was on the territory. I'm fighting him. That's all I'm saying. It's okay. <laughs> I'll kick his ass. So I think... Um, I'll kick his ass. He'll enjoy it. So I think... I think... I think Bishop goes over and sits down across the wet bar from uh, Flora. Gets himself a martini or something. Maybe not a martini. What would What would Bishop's drink be? A mojito? Yeah, Bishop. Bishop feels like a mojito guy. A weird space yeah. mojito. So it's like a like, um, it's the like the, the mint leaf is like blue. Yes, yes. Definitely. He's got he's got his mojito. He's got his like neon pink cigarettes, and he offers offers one to Flora. Flora. You see uh, me sit down, and order right Russian with no vodka in it. So just milk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> milk and Kahlu- milk and Kahlua. No, no alcohol in it. No, so oh, no, no, alcohol. no alcohol at all. <laughs> There's no alcohol was ever just. So, yeah, it just pours like, <laughs> pours like <laughs> like half and half into a cup. You see me? This one is amused. And so, yeah, and Bishop is gonna Bishop and Bishop and Vi are gonna be um, like monitoring the ship's like status, basically, uh, checking for not necessarily like trying to do any prepares, but trying to be like, hey, if we have to do some do this particular maneuver. We're gonna. This could be a problem. We better find a way to compensate for that, and that is an attempt to train both my um, insights and my playbook at the same time. Okay, cool. Yeah. So like, Vi's hovering over your shoulder, and like, mm-hmm. um, is like basically like, well, like, um, look at the screen, look at you, and if you don't address a problem like right away, she'll be like, she'll like hint at it. <laughs> and like with their little like pangolin head yeah like or like like un- undoes herself a little bit and just kind of points it at, at, at like a, a monitor and then you're like oh yeah that's a little too high and she's like mm-hmm <laughs> yeah adorable mm-hmm. god when, I, when Vi finally gets a body that's gonna be the ship isn't it <laughs> That's already my ship. That's gonna be the ship, isn't gonna, it? Well, we, well, we've already got. So we've got you. We've got uh, a big gel thing, and we've got a little tiny robot that follows you around. We're basically playing. We're basically doing the movie Flubber. 
Basically, right? <laughs> Basically, right? I'm the mad scientist. That's terrifyingly accurate. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Uh, which do you want to go next? Can or you can go? I'm still trying to figure out what I'm trying to do. Oh, trying to. mine's simple. You see me reading notes on. Uh... Anatomy of different two types of alien, specifically uh, what uh, Thor is and uh, what uh, Newt is. Mm. Basically, you know, like first aid and stuff. And then sure, by, sure. Uh, then the how to perform first aid on a gel. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, like, do you like? Uh, I imagine you know, it's a lot of super glue. <laughs> it probably kind of is. Like, there's probably like substances that like, because like basically when you, when you would take. When you get harmed, it kind of like splits your molecules apart or whatever. So like, I'm sure there's yeah, like substances that like. It would just be, would just like, be like resealing those membranes. Yeah, it'd be like bo- like it'd be like a yeah. lot of like, like bonding agents or like yeah, stuff that like take care of burns and everything like that. Yeah. Yeah, you know, like stuff you know, add back certain mm-hmm. minerals and make stuff make sure that. you put more put more liquids. Don't use salt. Don't use salt. <laughs> use yeah, salt. like certain like certain you minerals like don't salt? use it, this. It adds like the little skull over the little mushroom <laughs> thing specifically. Mm-hmm. Yep. In uh, what's the name of it? On the other half of the training, basically, like when you're engaging people of certain races, where to stare at to make it seem like you're not trying to challenge them or <laughs> like stuff like that. So you're reading anatomy books and like culture books. Like, yeah, it's like when you're taught to this race, make sure to avoid eye contact at this level. It's is it like uh, what kind? What like what kind of like material is it? Is it like official or not? Not official, but like is it like college? textbooks or is it like really cheesy like howdy partner so you want to talk to a vi or like uh, you want to talk to a person I, I, I feel like i watch the youtube videos and i actually go back and read the college textbooks it's like hmm, the youtube videos didn't say this okay so it's actual like like reports or whatever not just like really like, you know i have multiple screens one is a youtube video and the one's the actual book and i'm like sure make actually real cliff notes on how to do this the correct way. Okay. Like, you know, realistically, you know, when you're doing something, it's like, reread the book about it. It's not going to be as when you're actually doing it. Mm-hmm. The YouTube is actually showing you actually doing it. Sure, sure. Cool. Okay. So, uh, what are you trying yeah, with I that? I think there's definitely also another race where if you don't look them in the eye when you're talking to them, they'll take it as a grave insult. Yeah, it's like and... a little confusing. Like, don't yeah. look this don't look this race in the eye. Do look this race in the eye. Like, oh, crap, I need to remember that. So, I'm, re- I'm doing yeah. my resolve and insight training. Okay, that. cool. And, uh, Flora, what are you, what are you, uh, deciding to do? Um, I think I'm gonna try and challenge um are you gonna try and indulge your vice right bishop? now yes is it's it bishop. bishop bishop okay i keep wanting to say shepherd that's exactly um, the point i know thank you, you. uh <laughs> i want to change i want to uh train my resolve by challenging uh shepherd shepherd uh, bishop. <laughs> bishop. <laughs> shepherd shepherd writer Bishop, what? <laughs> Bishop. Uh, I keep want. I, I want to challenge Bishop to a uh, 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 arm uh, wrestle. Arm wrestle. Would that train your resolve or your prowess? Um, I would say resolve. Sure. It... Well, no, maybe prowess. I mean, yeah, I feel prowess. like it, prowess. It could, for, yeah, kind of go either way, but yeah. probably prowess. Probably yeah, the training's yeah. really like up. Yeah, like as long as you say it and feel it does it then like the training the training is totally up to you guys yeah. who wins can we do it two times i want to do two times i want to train, train one of my prowess and one of my resolve sure sure who wins so yeah so like let's like one time you're trying to use like full-on strength the other time you're, yeah. tra- you're trying to be like okay let's be smart about this yeah, cool. yeah the fr- one time it's all strength and the other time it's like a- leverage or like, like yeah it's like it's like like okay now if he if he pushes a little bit like i'll, I'll like i'll stay here for a second i'll like <laughs> give i'll give him some hope i'll give him some hope and then i'll just fucking crush it mm-hmm. cool cool <laughs> yeah so you guys do that a few times like win lose a few times or whatever um cool uh <coughs> um bishop's yeah, like Bishop's like cybernetic eyes like squint really hard whenever he's like doing that. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Yeah. So you guys, uh, how long do you guys you get you guys do you guys stay out the the length of the um, the room? Basically, like a few days. Probably. Mm -hmm. Cool. I feel like I'm sure Bishop gets pretty antsy towards the end of it, and he's like, "I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go." Sure. 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 Um, mm -hmm. We got yeah, three creds so... paid out to the ship, right? Yes. I just yeah. To make so sure that you got, got three creds as a group. What what you want to do with those creds is yours. Is or if you want to split them or whatever you're going to do with them. I, I I mean, put them on the ship for now. I think. Yeah, I agree. Uh... Okay. Uh, how do we how do we get upgrades to our ship again? Um, Just you can an XP on the ship clock. When you when you when you advance your ship, you can do them, or you can also buy them. Uh, I forget how much it costs to just buy one. Uh, it's in the book somewhere. Um, but yeah, sure. if you if basically if you get to a port that can put it in, um, you can buy the up, you can buy the like the the modules and such. Um, the, up, the upgrades have to be like from a ship, but like the modules and stuff, you can just buy them. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and you have to. Um, so for downtime, you have to pay your upkeep. Uh, basically, it's the standard maintenance for your oh, ship. Okay. How um, much is that? Uh, it's right. two. two, right? Yep. Two right Okay. Now. So we drop down to two credits. Yep. Um, okay. Cool. Uh, we need to immerse some people. Yeah. So, like, uh, basically the, like, the station, like, and especially since, like, they, like, tied your, like, they saw, it, like, oh, th these people came on this ship. Let's, let's take care of it for them or whatever. Um, and then, like, you have – basically, the uh, the the station can, like – will have like, someone will take care of, like, do the maintenance on your ship while you guys are in the room and doing your thing. Mm -hmm. um, at some point, uh, you guys are all in the room, um, and, like, the – like, the um, the phone rings, uh, and it's, like, you, the little display comes up, and it says it's the front desk. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll answer it. I'm the captain. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hello, is this, uh, is this Mr. Watts? Yes. Uh, yes, there's a, uh, someone here that was wondering if they could, uh, come up to your room. Um, a member of the... A member of the Guild of Engineers. Uh, so, it's, they're, uh, fairly important. Um, it's a gentleman by the name of Ransom West. Uh, Does that name ring a bell, by the way? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, uh, I forget. Uh, how, how do you guys... On, I forget now. Is this how, on speaker, exactly? Yeah, it could be. How do you guys know oh, yeah. the Guild of Engineers again? I forget exactly yeah. what we made that during... Because uh, we decided that during character creation. Because you guys have a two with them. So you know them pretty well. Um, uh, I forget what it was, though. Uh, I think it was Jazeel, is our fixer. Has contacts in the guild? I... I think they helped you, they helped you do, they helped you with something. And this um, is, this is the one where, 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 um, during the, the ship creation, we pick, um, one that, that, like, helped us install a thing, and then we paid them. We, we, we paid them. They were the ones that we paid to have mm -hmm. a, one of our upgrades. We right, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, they helped you get an upgrade. We, and we owe the Ashen Knives one. And we paid them, we owe the Ashen Knives one, and we ripped off some pirate faction. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, so um I forget I'm not sure which upgrade it was that the, the guild helped you get, but um Oh wait, was it the uh wasn't it the thing with um the uh the the, the crew quarters? The crew quarters. Yeah, it was. Yes, I remember now. That was the crew quarters. Yeah, you guys transported someone from from the Guild of Engineers, and they were like, "No, no, 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 this won't do. I need, I need less. I, I need this room. Upgrade the ship." And he just upgraded the ship, basically. And like, oh, okay, but sure. Uh, yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. That's exactly what happened. Um, so I think, um, um, so this is someone from the Guild of Engineers who we are good with, but not a name that I recognize. Right. That's basically what I wanted to, like, clarify, because I'm like, well, we're good with these guys. We did just um, fuck over them, though. Right, that's the other problem. But I don't, I don't, I, I think we can, uh, I don't think we need to worry that they found out that we fucked them over. 
I don't think that's what this is about. And, awesome. and I think even if it is, we're good enough friends with them that we can play it off. So um, uh, Ophi is going to be like, please give us a moment to get decent and then send him up. Oh, of course. Uh, yeah, so yeah. Uh, everybody's Wait a comms minute. get a, like, put some pants on. Uh, <laughs> put your pants on, everybody. <laughs> Which is code for, we're about to have, I don't mm-hmm. know. Bishop, Bishop, like... Yeah, it's, it Definitely, this is, like, code for we're about to uh, have questionable company. It's get... a business meeting. Put your pants on. Bishop yeah. gets Bishop gets uh... ready to rock. Um, he just does. He grabs his, like... He, like, yeah, checks, I mean, his, it's, it's, checks it's his weapons and for, stuff. Yeah, like, a business meeting. Like, this is... Be ready for something, but... Uh, but also be presentable and don't have obvious weapons. Bishop hides uh, Flora, his obvious weapon. Flora walks out with uh, her suspenders off her shoulders, just kind of hanging uh, with a drink in her hand. Just like she was just like in bed like that and she just got out. Like she was sleeping and her suit was just like... Vi, Bishop like lets yeah, Vi is. probably like hide in his backpack or something. Yeah, Vi, yeah, Vi like kind of just yeah, it's it would be okay, but yeah, if I would rather not just just not hang around instead of pretend to be like, oh, of course, sir. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but he like puts Vi in like a. I'm sure they have like a place where Vi hangs. Yeah, out totally. This kind of thing is happening. Mm-hmm. It's probably like a really like I imagine it being like a really like fluffy backpack or something like that on the inside. Awesome. Like something that's not totally miserable. Awesome, cool. It's not like you're in a burlap sack. It's like, oh, you're in like a little little bed that rides on my back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, me thinking it over. It's like, wait a minute, do we owe the rich slash something? Yeah. <laughs> Worry about that later. <laughs> no, we don't owe anybody anything, and red sashes are not in this game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ash and knives, that that's what. Don't we owe them something or something? Owe them a favor? We owe them um, one. Kind of. <laughs> we owe them a favor. We, we, we had a chance to do it, and we're like, hmm. you know what? Moral compass, maybe. I don't know. I didn't think uh-huh. about it. Oh, uh, um, anyway. cool. So yeah, um, in like maybe like ten minutes or so, uh, the the elevator like dings, and it opens up. Um, and it's a guy. He's wearing. Um, I don't know if you all have played Fallout Four, but like, mm-hmm. uh, <clears throat> I've seen it. Basically, what like, like power the, armor. No, uh, the scribes from the Brotherhood of Steel, like those, like mm. kind of like pointed, not like robes, kind of in a like in a way, yeah, they, uh, like the robes with the shoulder pads. Yeah, kind of got like weird, like shoulder pads and like like, like a big collar. Um, Wait, the what from the Brotherhood of Steel? The scribes oh, from the Brotherhood yeah, of Steel. Yeah. Um, I pulled up. It, I pulled up. It, yeah, and like kind of like a, like a like a skin tight suit kind of thing underneath it, and then like they have these bigger mm-hmm. like robes or whatever. Um, and then, like, this, this, like, basically the back has, like, this, the emblem of the Guild of Engineers, like, this big gear, um, Mm -hmm. kind of looking thing. Um, Mm -hmm. he steps out, he's got, uh, um, kind of, like, like a, like a tan, like a tan skin. Um, the right side of his face is, uh, think Terminator after he got hit a bunch and, like, you know, like, his face is kind of, like, mechanical and stuff. Uh, so, like, kind of like this, um, is, like... Robot-y, so there's like skull parts and like a mechanical eye right here, and like this part of his head is shaved. Um, mm-hmm. and so Bishop yeah, he, is very suspicious. Um, <laughs> yeah, he walks in. You have something against cyborgs? I have something against gilders. <laughs> anyway, he walks in. Uh, I guess are you guys out there to greet him, or do you just like let him? Yeah, um, like okay. I, I think the um, like living room area has been like arranged so that also we also instructed like... Cho to hide. <laughs> I, I don't think he's coming back. Yet. No, yeah, he's 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 out right now. Okay. Yeah, you see um, my fine uh, clothing right now. Cool. Yeah, if if he, I, I, in my understanding of how the timeline is, he hasn't come back yet. Okay. And Cheerful. if I'm wrong on that, then. No, this is this is after a few days. So like, um, like, like this is like you're you're still here, but like it's been it's been it's been a while. It's not like right after. Right. No, but I mean, like, Um, I expected Cho to be gone for like three or four days. Oh no! Yeah, he's been he's he's out and about. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Anyway, this is neither here nor. I I mean, the only difference would be 
if he had come back and we talked to him and agreed that we wanted, to, you know, worked out that he was going to join us, I would send him a text message that's like, don't come back, like stay away mm-hmm. until we say it's clear. Um, but if we hadn't talked about it, I would not have, I, I would not have done that. Sure. It's basically the only thing that would have mattered for me. Anyway, uh, I, I picture we have rearranged the living room area so that there's like one chair and then like the couches and like maybe a recliner or whatever go around on the other way. So we've got like a, a where where he can sit and then we will sit facing him. Sure. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. I'll bring Gal with us some tea and biscuits. Yeah. Or with the tea and biscuits bit. and and like a um, coffee table in the middle, it doesn't really look intimidating to be that one chair off by itself but it's still a little alienating mm-hmm. but it's meant to look kind of friendly while still putting a table between us and him got it mm-hmm. basically yeah so he walks up um uh so he's got um i can't i can't make the noise so i just want to like but whenever whenever he talks like um, there's like a little bit of clinking, like from his me- the mechanical part of his face, and there's like a little bit of like a um, kind of like a digitally mm-hmm. aspect to it. Uh, but then he has like a like a like it. So it, there's almost like a double effect where like his actual voice and like this weird kind of like digital digitized part is coming out of his mouth. Um, yeah, I just kind of picture that while he talks. Uh, so yeah, he walks in and good evening, everyone. I am Ransom West from the Guild. It's good to meet you, Mr. Whist. And he just, kinda, like, just takes a sip. He just kind of raises his eyebrows and like looks like he's waiting uh, for like, and then like, and <clears throat> I'm sorry. I assume you knew who you were meeting. My name is Captain Gingo Ofwipop. This is Bishop and Laura and Jusha ah, Yes. I knew some names, but uh, putting a face to a name is good. Of course. Um, and then do you, uh, so he like looks, he looks, he looks at the living room and like the, the seating arrangement and like gesture with pseudopod mm-hmm. towards the one seat and then, uh, I, I, I picture there's like a couch and like the three of them are sitting on that couch and then there's like a, like a more of a like a big armchair and uh, Ophi like kind of rolls up into it and like is like blobbed out taking up a big portion of it <laughs> uh, instead of sitting and then there's another armchair um, that that's kind of across from that. Sure. And so um, Ophi just kind of gestures at the singular armchair and then like rolls up into the the other one. Yeah, uh, Susha, you said you offer you had like tea and like treats and Crumpets. stuff. Crumpets. And cool. Tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. He 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 Herb takes biscuits. he he takes a cup and like 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 a little plate and like a a, a crumpet and stuff and he like thank you. And then he goes are... to sit. Welcome, to your fellows. I offer him some of my drink, just like from my cup. Uh, he like looks at his little plate and like reaches over and like moves it out of the way. I'm fine. Well, for me then, thank, I don't thank care. you. Just enjoy your drink. You're always welcome to more friends from the guild. Yes, good. So, I shall get right to business then. I heard. I looked up your file when I was looking around for potential freelancers to t- do something. Mm-hmm. You're very capable. You've worked well with us before. So I had an offer that mm-hmm. I wanted to extend to your group. There is a scientist. A pull up my name list. There is a new boy scientist by the name of Chimera. He resides in the Iota system on the planet Lithios. 
-hmm. I would like you to bring this person to me. Is he expecting a pickup? Where is this grab job? He does not know of his new employment. What'd he do? It's not what he did, it's what he can do. Mm, uh, corporate restructuring, so to speak? Sure, let's go with that. Yes, I want... He's needed for something, so... I would like you to bring him. I will give you the location after uh, when you let me know that you have him and he's capable, alive and capable. What would this um, what would this pay? I can offer you four credits. I mean. I mean, the f I, 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 forgive me, I'm kind of the ship guy. Hmm. Fuel from here to there, you know, potential damage to the ship. If we're I going into a situation where I assume since you were such good security. friends of the guild, you would be glad to take this job. Yeah, yeah. I'm just wondering if we could maybe talk about five? That'd cover my costs and be quite a bit of profit. You can if it's it if it's one of those situations where we don't have that option, that's fine. Just business people to business people. You will take it at four, or I will leave. Fair enough. What do you want to do, boss? So, before I answer that question, I'd like to do a flashback to earlier when I was in the bathtub looking at other jobs. Mm -hmm. Um, were there any job postings that would be more enticing than this one? Uh, there are several that are offering six credits. Are they, like, on a, on a danger scale of, like, one to ten? Like, how um, dangerous are these jobs? Well, if you think about it this way, they're actually probably bounty hunter jobs. For people that actually have warrants, I'm pretty sure the guy we're getting doesn't have a warrant on him. So I feel like we're just jacking this guy. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. yeah that's pretty exactly much. what we're going to be doing. And, and I mean, I'm okay paid, with that. But well, we're not getting paid the right amount of money to jack somebody like that. Hmm. Hmm. Um. I, because I. I mean. I mean, is that true? I though? like keeping these guys uh, on our standard. Side. Standard money is six credits, and then it would go up for like other bigger factors and such um gotcha he's okay. get, yeah, so, yeah he's we're getting chipped kind of because he's taking advantage of the fact that he's part of the hegemony and like you guys have a good uh like a good standing with them and it's kind of like a, oh you want to do right by the guild don't you right kind of right. thing and like oh we're like basically him giving you four is like a like a courtesy kind of like oh you're doing this job and we're also giving you four credits isn't that lovely like kind of thing. I, uh -huh. I think I think Ophi knows about knows Bishop's opinions about the guild and the hegemony in general being kind of full of shit. Um, and so Bishop is totally okay with screwing this guy over. I like having the guild on our good side, but I also don't like being screwed on payment. Yeah. Um. And I think after he says um, you'll take four or your walk, um, uh, I'm. Uh, I think Ophi is gonna say uh, is gonna like tape his cup, put it down, and say, I'm "Sorry that uh, you wasted your time. Then we normally don't for less than six. <laughs> the offer of five to cover costs was quite a deal." He like finishes the tea and then like puts the crumpet in like he puts the crumpet in like the mechanical side of his mouth and then like does like a <laughs> like it just eats the whole thing mm -hmm. and then stands up and hands like the little, the, the little plate and little cup back to susha 
and then um, thank you for the tea and the uh, the uh, crumpet. It was quite good. Have a splendid day, all of you. And then he just you as well heads for the elevator, and then uh, like looks back and says, um, "What are you?" Uh, Thinly veiled threat about how we won't forget this. Not, not. It's not a threat. It's more like a. Um, <laughs> no, it's what. No, it's what. What it is is. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, there's been an issue with your subscription to the Guild newsletter. You, I don't think you'll be receiving it anymore. And then he like turns and heads to the <laughs> elevator, which is a thinly veiled. We're not as good friends now. Right. Right. <laughs> uh, you know, and I. Oh, uh, Flora flips him off <laughs> as he leaves. Like, behind, behind his back so he doesn't see, but she flips him off. Good, good, good. Uh, yeah. Because, I mean... She does the whole... <laughs> we are in a position where we, we kind of need money because we're we're just starting out and we... I mean, we've got some money, but okay. we, we need to... You mean that some money instantly got blown up into maintenance? Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah, like, yeah, maintaining a ship, running a ship, yo. <laughs> and yeah. um, Ophi knows Bishop's opinions, and um, also Shusha's position. And as much as she wants to stay on the guild's good side, uh, what they offered us was an insult. And yeah. so they have uh, us she, she gave really him doubles. a chance to accept five uh, again before he left, but uh, <laughs> when he did not, then that was the end of that. So, yeah. Yeah. so we should have got, uh, double. got double for it because you know, Ray with uh-huh. Minish, eight cr- six cred, uh-huh. we're doing something that doesn't have a bounty on it ethnically. Right. He, he, he was fully be- taking advantage of the fact that they're the guild and he could just kind of make this whole thing happen and like. Obviously, you guys would want to would want to be in their good side, and yeah, he was totally and playing I, I that whole thing. This is definitely us it's, putting our our foot down. Of you can't play us like that, and if that means we're not as good friends, maybe yeah. I didn't want to be friends with you in the first place. Mm-hmm. I yeah, he the guild's very large, so he's just a member of it, but he's apparently has enough sway to like make the guild not like you as much there's yeah there's gonna be there, there'll, there'll probably be other guild members that aren't as shitty as ransom west <laughs> oh no no like i think he like, i think he leaves and bishop so, yeah. bishop just like reaches down and like undoes the top of the bag that vies inside of uh, she like Brrr. he's going good prick he sounded like a douche <laughs> he was this one believed he was a douche Right, let me show you the bounties that I found. Mm -hmm. Um, And, like, as long as we're here as a crew and talking about what bounty to take, uh, Ophi's going to pull up some of those um, six cred bounties that are going to offer, you know, a reasonable amount of pay. Sure, sure. Um, Sucks is figuring that out. Can we go to our last break? Yeah, sure. Break. Yeah, That's sounds good. Uh, we're going to go to break, and we'll see you in a little bit, and we're going to figure out the job, and kind of, uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll figure out what job you guys want to do, kind of get the, get that get that thing started, and then probably do just, yeah, the initial jobby stuff, and then mm-hmm. uh, that, that'll be the next part, so I'll see you in just a little bit.